scientists from the Victor Chang Cardiac Research Institute have overturned dogma that's been accepted in medical circles for over a hundred years. It was previously believed that heart muscle cells can only replicate shortly after birth and the heart can therefore not regenerate. Of course, if you can't, heart muscle cells can't divide, then that really limits the way the heart can respond to stress or to injury. The ultimate aim of our work is really to try to work out what causes the heart muscle cells to stop dividing so that we can then apply uh, means to reactivate the heart muscle cells for division so that we can improve uh, outcomes after myocardial infarction or help even babies that are born with congenital heart defects. In mammals, the heart grows substantially between birth and adolescence, but up until now, exactly how it grows was a mystery. The team, led by Professor Robert Graham and Asan Hussein of the Emory University School of Medicine, have shown that heart cells do in fact replicate during pre-adolescence as well, rather than only shortly after birth. And so by very carefully looking day by day by day, we found a single period in 24 hours when the heart muscle cells turn on again and they divide and they increase the number of cells by almost half a million. 40% increase in the number of cells in a 24 hour period. And that's why it was probably missed before. So we have now overturned the dogma and we can now imagine the unimaginable. But Robert Graham says that nature has been very clever in managing this phenomenal growth. Well, we found that it's not uniform throughout the heart. It only occurs in certain areas of the heart and that's probably important to allow heart function to be maintained despite the fact that you've got a lot of cells dividing. The study, which was carried out on mice, has shown that this process takes place in response to a surge in thyroid hormone. These findings suggest that thyroid hormone therapy, which is already in use, could stimulate this process and switch on the heart's ability to regenerate in older patients with heart disease. But if we use it carefully, then we may be able to translate these findings very quickly into a new clinical therapy. The breakthrough is the culmination of five years of full-time work by two laboratories, as well as support from key funding bodies. So we're very grateful for our funding agencies that they've, they've supported this basic research work. And so we're grateful to the National Health and Medical Research Council, the Australian Research Council Stem Cell Initiative, the National Heart Foundation and also the Artie Hall Estate.